There we go. Howdy, folks. Hello, everyone. You are seeing the epic Pyro versus Pyro gameplay. <laughs> I, I'm assuming by the amount they're taunting, <laughs> this is just a button test. Yeah, this is definitely a button test. Absolutely. <laughs>
like the smash habit of just getting on planes. Yep. Yeah. Hello, folks. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Welcome to Champions of Vancouver Ultimate Singles Action. We're finally ready to get started. We had a button test. We had some uh, dual classic mode, uh, but now the competitors are ready to go. We have Grade. We have Tickle. Grade, great Mewtwo player, if you're unfamiliar. Tickle had the distinction last week of knocking Ouch out of winner's bracket. That was the second set Ouch has lost I think at I actually, all. I think I actually commentated that set, too. Yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, how lucky am I, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it, Get to see a giant fall, and we're going to see those characters again. Grade with the Mewtwo, Tickle with the Pyramithra. This should be good. Yeah, of course. We saw um, Grade at the first high street, I believe, um, going to grand finals with Lemon which is interesting. And, uh, you know, Lemon plays Joker, so we're going to see some of that Mithra gameplay. Wow! <laughs> to, Hello and goodbye! Yeah, to the Joker impression, but not until Greg gets that early dare stock. That's incredible. And what a position he's put himself in right off the bat. And for Tickle, yeah, big absolutely. hill to climb now. So much momentum from Greg right now. Even you went to such, even with the tail such, just like, you know, as big as Mewtwo, it's actually looking pretty dominant. Yeah which is something you'd never see every day, you know? No, this is quite impressive so far. Definitely a bit cagier now after that incredible electric start. Yeah. Tickle trying to fight his way back in. Not enough openings, though, and Great is going to try to keep Tickle in disadvantage until... Goes for the neutral B, but a nice tech from Great there. Absolutely. Up tilt, not going to kill there from Pyra. Definitely a lot more damage coming out. There's oh, right there, the, the up tilt on the platform. you got to be careful about that PS2 platform because Pyra can reach on it. For sure. So much extra credit there for Grade, though. He's not going to be too upset about it. Back to Mithra now for Tickle. The Nair. Oh, misses the Shadow Ball. All right, we got 140 Mithra right now. Any attack, even like a back air, could end the stock right now. And Grade could be in a huge advantage. Ooh, looks like he might have DI'd out of that, but not quite enough. And Grade now again, keeping up that great position that he's had since the first five seconds of the match. Yeah, that might have been one of the early stocks we've ever seen. Yeah. Welcome to Ultimate Singles, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> We're well, ready to go. Welcome to BC. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the Pyra already here with Great only at 56%. Now back to the Mithra. Yeah, great. Gets um, the yeah. Lightning Buster. Yeah, Tickle really acknowledging that Mewtwo will die at this percent. And, yeah. he, and he's not afraid to swing with Pyra because he knows that he can instantly put him off stage and switch to, you know, Mithra, try to ledge trap a bit, yeah. take the stock. Now you definitely don't need to fish when you have Pyra against a Mewtwo at this percent. Half of her moves will kill. We saw Prominence Revolt come out there. That's a good solid one. You can catch people off guard. For sure. Side tilt there, not going to be nearly enough. Oh, the, the trump. But, but great finding a way back on stage to get control of it. On the platform, an up air. If Tickle's able to take a stock here relatively quickly, he's only at 75. It's definitely not out of the woods. Oh, oh Tickle's. That was wow. genius. Wow. What a conversion with the forward air to finish it. Great. Yeah, Looking that, great from start to finish in that one. That was actually such crazy coverage because if you think about it, Mewtwo's double jump covers the, the double jump space if, if Tickle jumped. Yep. And covered the roll and neutral get up by a down tilt. And then he forced him to like, he basically, um, what's it called, conditioned him to neutral get up, which he got the, the, the confirm off the shadow yep. ball. That was genius. I love that. Yeah. Great is such a treat to watch. And we're going to go right back into it here. Hopefully, for Tickle's sake, we're not going to see a stock lost quite as quickly. Again, he is going to be off stage right at the start of the match. Yeah. Great quick 43 there. But here come the Mithra up tilts and the up airs. Bread and butter for that character. Yeah. Mithra's advantage is so incredible. Even Pyra can dish out some good ledge traps with the side beat. Well, we might be seeing the, quite the contrary right now. Is great. It is doing as well almost as the uh, last game. Which it's is, hard to do as well as last game, but he's right. still putting in a really good effort. And that forward air yeah. looks like not the best DI coming out from Tickle right there, there, but regardless. Yeah. You definitely got to watch out for that tech. Dash attack will take Grade off stage. Gets good fusion. Tickle's trying real hard to just try to break dance kind of around Grade to kind of mi mix him up a little bit. Yeah, Grade's getting these opportunities. He's not cranking out a ton of percent, but it's enough to keep his advantage and uh, prevent Tickle from getting a bunch of momentum. Oh, what an excellent parry. Yeah, that was great. Finishing with the down smash. That down smash is so fast, but not as fast as Grade can be when he's got momentum. Oh, we're oh there's our first foresight that we've seen. 
Going to the Pyro here. Haven't really seen Pyro at all yet in this game. Oh, with the footstool? Okay. Tickle's taking the trip back to Twitter real quick. All of a sudden, we are even in this match, sort of out of nowhere. The Pyro putting in work. Yeah, once, for Tickle. once before mentioned, you know, Pyra can really deal out that damage enough, and, you know, the sword is big, so Mewtwo's really vulnerable to that. Great coming back into it a little bit there. Gets grabbed, though. Off stage. Oh, have you seen the side B here? Yep. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, Grid, Grid is doing really well with these teleports, trying to maintain stage control and get Pyra off because, you know, um, the Aegis recovery isn't very good. Yeah. And, and there you see it, right when he gets the stage control, is able to get right up and close to Pyra. Absolutely. Negate the range and use the up throw to kill. Excellent conversion. Then there to dash attack. Oh, nice. But now bringing it back to pretty much even. Tickle feels like he's really been fighting throughout this whole match, this whole game, but he's been able to keep this one a lot closer. And you feel like, especially if he's able to get a big Mithra combo or a bunch of chunk damage with Pyra, he can get right back into this and uh, push this to a game three. Absolutely. We all know Gray. Gray, you know, Gray just does damage, and sometimes you blink, and then, you know, Tickle might be gone. You never know. Just like that, <laughs> the down throw. Gets that conversion again. Down throw into forward air. Cleanest 2-0. That was excellent. That you know? was wonderful to see from Great. He is definitely on his game today. Acknowledging that first stock, that first game, man. I just knew that Great had that kind of had that kind of, you know, that mojo. He was kinda on that grind. Yeah. He was really he was really feeling it. You know, his Mewtwo, he had the he had the spacing right, you had the combos right. Definitely. And I mean when you see a stock get taken that early, uh, sometimes you think there has to be a little bit of fortune involved in that. But yeah. you can tell that with him he was on point the entire set.